Good afternoon. My name is Namrata Krishnan, and I'm an academic nephrologist at the Yale School of Medicine and Veterans Affairs Medical Center in Connecticut. I'd like to thank the ASN for giving me the opportunity to share with you my online teaching tool titled Hemodialysis Kinetics 101, the key to KT over V urea. This module will be free and open to public access with the link provided. The goal of this teaching module is to help the user conceptualize the principles of solute transport, urea kinetics, and hemodialysis adequacy using animations and case-based discussions. The teaching tool is presented to the user as a web-based module and the material utilized in an interactive manner. In every section, clinical pearls are highlighted to help understand the clinical impact of these concepts. First, we start with the basic hemodialysis circuitry as it pertains to understanding blood and dialysate flow pathways. Then, we take a look inside of a hemodialysis filter to study its anatomy, as well as learn the principles of diffusion and convection that ultimately determine solute and water transport during hemodialysis. Concepts of dialyzer efficiency and flux, as well as ultrafiltration and transmembrane pressure are highlighted. Next, we learn in detail the elements of KT over V urea, how it is measured in the hemodialysis unit, its current utility, as well as its practical limitations. The playground section allows the user to play around and modify variables such as dialyzer blood flow, dialysate flow rate, as well as dialyzer efficiency to assess its consequent effect on dialyzer urea clearance and KT over V. Interactive case discussions are used to highlight key clinical concepts and discuss management of hemodialysis patients in various unique clinical scenarios, such as access recirculation, dialysis disequilibrium, beta-2 associated amyloidosis, etc. These vignettes will allow the user to test their knowledge and integrate theoretical concepts learned in the preceding sections with clinical application and patient care. I believe that this knowledge is key to understanding the physiology of hemodialysis, operating an efficient dialysis unit, and for optimizing patient care. This is also an area that often confuses nephrology fellows in training. If taught well to house staff, I expect that it will create more excitement and interest in the field of nephrology. I hope you find this teaching module useful and enjoy learning with it as much as I enjoyed creating it. I'm very grateful to the Yale Center for Teaching and Learning for providing me with digital expertise to help complete this project as envisioned. Thank you very much.